everyone. Hello. We are out. We're getting. I'm going to make. A, we're going to have that layered burrito casserole tonight. But we got talking about beef fiesta pie that I used to make a lot, and I haven't made it in so long. Uh, we decided on that, but all we we have everything except for uh, ground turkey. Of course, you can use ground beef in it, but we're going to get some ground turkey at Aldi. And since our washer's out until we can get a new one until it is delivered, which will be a while, uh, we're going to have to. We're going to go check out a laundromat. We haven't been to one, and I can't remember. Some years. You know, since we were married. Early in our marriage, we might have gone to Well, work. I guess that'd be about 42. Yeah. So we just want to see, like, how much it is and if it's clean and stuff, you know. Because you just never know these days. They may not even have it open. I don't know. But. I just thought we'd take you with us. Well, I'm sure there's, surely there's one in town that is. I don't know where any others are. Well, we have to look in the yellow pages or something. Especially on like Saturday. Okay, I'm gonna pause it while we're in here. Hi everybody, I guess guess what? I forgot to film after we left Aldi. <laughs> uh, we went to the laundromat and it actually, you know, I, I was we were just wanting to check it out, you know, to see what if we needed to look for a different one or what, and it's it was clean. Uh, there was people in there, and we uh, spoke to a guy, you know, and asked him how it went. They, you know, back in the day, you could only use coins. When we did it 40 years ago or whatever, uh, but now they've got these things on them. You know, you can use your debit card. Uh, I don't know about that though. I surely they wouldn't. You know how people will, will can get your information from. I need to mention that to Joy, but I don't think they would in there, but because people, but they're open 24 hours a day, see? So I don't know if they could get somebody's information using it or what. You may have to get some cash or something uh, if if that's an issue. There's FedEx. Oh, bring our washer. Uh, no, it won't be here till the 30th, so I mean, you can't go till the 30th. What's today, the 11th? You can't go to the 30th, you know, to uh, wash clothes. Oh, I came out, uh, uh, Joy was looking out, she was doing something at the sink, and she looked out in the ground, she said, Mike, you groundhog's out here eating on your uh, carrots. And I looked out, and it had its head shoved through, there was a little space between uh there was a little space in between these here and it had, it had its head through it and it was standing up on its hind legs just going trying to get at all this it was eating you can see it's eating some I pulled these off you can see it, it had eaten some and um, so I moved this one over to where they you know there's not a space really like down here that way there's not a space big enough and it may leave them alone this way. I mean, it uh, it ran, it runs, and it goes underneath this our heat pump, which I hope our heat pump works this year. Uh, the bad luck we've been having, but uh, yeah. Uh, so it ran under there, and then while I was over here fixing these this fence thing, I looked over there and it had its head stuck out under there watching me. 
Well, it's almost funny. I, I mean, I don't know if it's living under there. I think that's just its escape place. There goes a cat down there. That's that cat that Kitty sees and has a fit when she sees it. Uh, I don't know if a cat could tackle a groundhog or not. I, I kind of doubt it. It's pretty stout. But I'm getting ready to water out here. So maybe I'll water a little bit while I'm talking to you. Hold on just a minute. Okay, I'll just take y'all with me while I water some. This is my routine, and unless it rains during the day, usually it doesn't rain enough to lately really soak it good. So I'm gonna pull it out here and give these flowers here some. Banana peppers look a little, a little dry, droopy. These are getting so big. Looks like they're going to be violet colored like that right there. There we go. I don't need a whole lot. Not the flowers, I mean. That's about enough try to conserve as much as I can in the water because it does run your bill up some. Now for the bird bath. I clean it every day. At least wash it out, I mean. Give the bird some uh, fresh water. You put it on shower. They like some water. You should see them when there's a bunch of those starlings right here. There was about six of them in here trying to take a bath. They were just having a big time. Of course, they were picking at each other uh, to get the best place. It was funny to watch them. But, you know, uh, they need water. You know, if you're going to feed them, it's a good idea to have them some water. Not just to bathe, of course, to drink. I see a little bit of lettuce coming up. Radishes here. Some of them haven't yet. They're starting to. As they grow, they'll kind of uh, get a little lanky, and you have to, the best thing to do with radishes is to push dirt around them as they grow. Because if you don't, they'll try to grow a radish on top of the soil. And those never work. They're never, they're never big or anything, they're like a pencil. Let me pull this over here. Now, you've got to pamper uh, radishes just a little bit. They grow fast and everything. But you've got to make sure there's dirt up around them, the, rad the part you know that's going to grow under the uh, uh, soil. You gotta make sure it's like a little mound or something, you know, around it. Around each one and they'll do really good. I'm hoping these carrots start to come up here. That's really the only thing that hasn't started coming up at all. The carrots. It's been a nice day today. You can see I'm getting more and more okra. I can't wait to try to fix some. Either I'll bake it, I might, you know, fried gopher is fantastic, but mom's, my mom, you know, she doesn't really fry anything either. And uh, she hadn't for years. But she, she, you know, breads it just the same way with, with cornmeal and bakes it, and she says it, it's just as good. So chances are that's what we'll do. And we didn't have time to uh, make the uh, icebox pickles. I guess that's what I call them with these today. 
But they're getting pretty big. I'm going to need to pick them probably tomorrow. Maybe on morning coffee break in the morning, I'll pick some of these to use. Yeah, you can see the comet sooner down there. They don't give you many. Didn't give you, it was one of the free seeds, the uh, free pack of seeds they gave me. I think Joe from Joe's Garden and Bees, he got one too. And they didn't have hardly any seeds in them. I'm guessing maybe 30, you know, and they're so little. You know, normally I would grab a few at a time and put them in there to, you know, that way you thin them. Kind of like these are, you can see more than one in each place. That way you can pick the most healthy one, but I didn't have that choice with them when there's not that many seeds. So I just put one seed, now sometimes two might have got in there, but I just put one seed at each place. Uh oh, uh oh. It's always trying to go over this fence here. Wait a minute. Now. And there's turnips. And this is Swiss chard. Which well, got a whole lot of its come up. You can see a few of them back in there. I hope nothing's eating on them. I don't think so. Yeah, I thought since I forgot to uh, finish the drive with us, I figured I'd just uh, let y'all come with me while I water. You got to keep your uh, seeds and seedlings, um, you know, pretty well moist, especially the seeds. And the seedlings, you know, here, once they get bigger, what is that? What in the world is that? Hold on a minute. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a, that's a bean. Look at that. That's a bean. How in the world? It must have fallen off one of the uh, things I hate to, let's see if I can do something here. It'll eat it over here anyway. It'll eat it. If it, grows, if it grows, maybe I could put it over here. Well, I took up that other one. Let's let's give it a chance. I don't know what kind it is. It'll probably get eaten by the groundhog. It's left that little one alone there, but I'm sure it'll probably eat this. Put some dirt up against it. There, you get a chance. Never know. It might make it. That's funny. It must have fallen off, or something ate a bean and and uh, left the seed laying there or something. All right. Well, let me turn this back on. Center. Get the house plants. Oh, there goes the thing again. Hey, it's keeping that groundhog out of here, y'all. I know it might be a little aggravating hearing it. But I can't turn it off. It just it's like times it for, I think, 30 seconds, I think. But I got I can't let that groundhog in here. It might eat my my uh, extension cord in half and get it, it'll probably electrocute it, but. It might eat that and ruin it, and them aren't cheap. It might, it might eat my uh, battery charger, eat the cords to it. So, oops, I didn't get that one in there. Now, let me get over to where it might not. The water made it go off uh, yesterday, let's see. Put some right here. Oh, I wasn't even paying attention to the camera, I'm sorry. I drew off in Never Never Land. Okay. I've really not done much, you know, with these uh, pots except give them a little miracle grow every now and then. 
nothing seems like you know you'd have to have a really big pot something like this one over here well it's a fabric one to make them grow any bigger uh, they're only going to grow so big in a small pot because they they run out of room for their roots so i just you know these were stuff that was mainly left over when i planted from stuff i grew and stuff so i just thought i'd let them let them live here they've actually i've got quite a few peppers out here i probably i've probably harvested about 10 of them I doubt any of those eggplants will ever get very big. They'll probably get eaten when they get any bigger. Okay, I'm going backwards here, pulling this. By the way, this uh, this uh, hose is seems to be really, really a good one. Um, I love the retract. I mean, uh, you know, I guess that's what you call them, the expanding, and then they retract. You know, when you're done, uh, they're light. It's easy to put up. The other one was so aggravating trying to roll it up, up and stuff. A few of these are getting buds on them, but not many yet. I don't know why they're taking so long this year. By last year, they had already had all the flowers all over them. So I don't know. I planted about the same time. Those are, those are from seeds from last year that I harvested, those big ones. And this one here. I'll tell you what, these white ones here, they've really put some flowers out. They, they come out and then they die and then they fall off. They turn black and fall off. But there's been a bunch of them. I hear a helicopter. Yeah, I see it over there. Probably from the hospital, or going to the hospital. I don't see my groundhog. See, he's living in that bush there, that big old thing. He's living underneath there. That's where he tried to drag that big old piece of plastic under the other day. <laughs> or tried to drag it inside his little place. That might have made some good bedding for her, but I couldn't let it do that. It's too long. It's sticking out too. One little last spurt for them. I don't know if I did these banana peppers enough. Uh, needing some more. They were looking kind of... All right, everyone. That's going to be it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I appreciate your great support. And I'd say the next thing I do will probably be early morning prayer requests and devotions. I'm going to rest now. I'm going to fix... We decided instead of having that uh, burrito casserole thing, I got to talking about my beef fiesta pie, and we haven't had that in a long time, and that used to, used to be something we fixed at least a couple times a month. And uh, we got to talking about it, and then we started wanting it, and all we needed from Aldi, like I said, was some ground turkey, and we just got like a drink and some eggs. I have everything else. So thanks again for watching, everybody. I'm going to roll up this uh, hose and get the water out of it and stuff. So i see y'all later at Morning Devotions. Let's see. What do I want to take a picture of? I don't know. My, my okra looks good. All right, everybody. Have a great evening. God bless.